Hey guys, we're gonna do a quick DIY on how to clean your shower stall from this really dirty shower stall to this super clean shower stall in about 10 minutes or less with very little scrubbing and stuff. Big thank you to the 9,000 subscribers for the Sterling W channel. Please like, subscribe, hit more for more DIYs. Anyways, moving right into it. This is how it looks after about 10 minutes and it's very, very simple as well. I usually do this every, what, couple of weeks when it's my turn to wash the uh, shower stall is to get rid of all the no do and the calcium buildup and everything else that grows on the shower stall. You should probably clean your shower stall much more often than, you know, once every two or three weeks, but that's my cycle for, since I have roommates. Um, at the same time, it looks really cool, but here's the thing, wear some safety goggles or safety glasses because we will be using some lime away. This is the magic stuff that melts away all the calcium. So that's the secret sauce of this whole thing. I also use a automotive uh, squeegee just for the, mainly for the um, the soft parts, the sponge area, as well as an industrial um, toilet bowl cleaner. Now I got that at Costco or a business center or something like that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lime away directly on my scrub. This is basically the paint on most of the lime away on the walls and also on this to eat away all the lime because in LA, there's a lot of calcium in the water. So, and minerals in the water. So we wanna basically put a nice layer of lime away on all the walls, just so that it'll start eating it away, especially if there's like rust stains or anything else that's on the walls. This will pretty much take care of taking out the calcium where all the dirt is being held on or attaches to the wall of the shower. Now, of course you can see that I can't fit in every uh, crevice and everything. We'll take care of that a little later, but I'm gonna basically put a quick coat of lime away on everywhere. We don't want a really thick coat. We just want a nice thin one so it starts eating away at that calcium. Be careful, of course, you're, you don't want to leave this stuff on metal objects or chrome or chrome plastic because it will pretty much uh, stain it if you leave it on too long. This is mainly to just eat away at some of the calcium so it melts a little. You have to make sure that if you do do this process that you leave it on for about less than five minutes or so or else otherwise it'll stain like um, the calcium, no, it'll stain the chrome stuff. But as you can see on the white um, panel walls, we got all of them and it's basically leaving it on for about a good five minutes of after, after coating it once. Again, this is, it takes about less than um, two to three minutes to quickly put this stuff on. I'm using the heavy duty toilet brush. This cost me like four or five dollars when I bought it a few years ago. This is already 10 years old, by the way. And these are made to last. It's only about like four or five dollars I bought it at a industrial um, um, kitchen supply and store. I think it was Costco, maybe even Costco. But if I have any of this stuff, I'll leave it in the description below if I can find it. But I, same thing, I basically put the gel on. This has only been about a few minutes. And I wanna basically coat the crevices now of that everywhere else. So first thing I'm gonna do is just to show you the magic of this stuff. It's melting away all the calcium on the floor of the of the shower stall. And I'm taking it and I have a little bit of wetness and water in it. So here's the fun part you have to be careful about. You could actually coat the crevices with this thing, but be careful if you're using lime away. So that's why you're wearing eye protection and possibly a glove. I didn't wear a glove because I've been doing this for years and I've realized that it's really, really quick for me to do it. So I'm basically going through all the crevices and fine details. Next note to self, if I ever own a property, I do not want tile, simulated tile or anything else with crevices because it's really, really, it's not hard to clean, but it's, it's a pain, especially if it starts, if um, your roommates or whoever you're living with um, doesn't clean it very properly, it, it just leaves a lot of stuff in there. So anywho, I basically do a really fast coat, um, coat on top of like the chrome items and stuff just so that it eats, it gets into, um, and, do, and do a little scrubbing too. You don't need a lot of scrubbing, you just need a little scrubbing, but it takes away most of it just because of the, the removal of the calcium. So, and staining. If you have any rust from, let's say your plumbing or whatever, it takes care of that too. So the nice thing about this industrial um, toilet bowl cleaner is that it's round and you could fit it in underneath the um, shower stall area. For us, there's for for this shower stall, that's um, there's this overhang which I really hate. There's a lot of stuff gets stuck there. I'm gonna later finish off and spray those um, mildew areas with uh, mildew 
cleaner and spray or probably a little bit of bleach but that's after this thing the majority thing is to get rid of all the staining on the floor look how fast this thing you know melts the stuff away it's because it's like i said connected to all the um calcium and stuff and basically all the bacteria and stuff gets stuck between the calcium and the rough um textured floor that the that the shower stall has so this basically helps clean a lot of it and this bristle brush is, brush is really strong and really rough so not much just a light scrub and again we're just trying to let it so i'm just doing it for a fact that i'm scrubbing away all the dirt but you should really just leave it sit there for about let's say two to three minutes and it will eat away the stuff by itself um but to help it along i'm basically agitating it with the scrub so that it melts it away As you can see any of the oil and bacteria or whatever else this stuff has it's basically coming off pretty quickly Again, just for to make this faster, I'm putting more uh, line weight on it so that I can quickly scrub more. Again, it's eating away at the calcium. So wear, <laughs> wear protection in terms of gloves and stuff because if this stuff splatters on your skin, it's probably not, not a cool thing. Like I said, I'm doing it really slow, but I noticed that some of the bristles will, you know, um, spray the stuff pretty much everywhere. So that's why you're wearing eye protection. So... Just putting a quick coat again, and I'm using the this um, toilet bowl cleaner, and I only use this toilet bowl uh, brush for this this one purpose. I hide this thing away so my um, and I let my roommates know roommates know uh, that I only use this for this and not to use it for. There's a specific uh, toilet bowl brush for the toilet. This is specifically for washing restroom or shower stalls, not for anything else. So that being said more scrubbing more scrubbing more scrubbing but this is very light scrubbing so and we're pretty much done I, it's already been about four or five minutes and i've already let the walls sit for about five minutes in terms of this the stuff and we'll go ahead and turn on the hot water and rinse all the stuff on and it's just gonna be super clean simple as that so Overall, it takes like about 10 minutes or less, but now that I'm using hot water, I'm spraying down every crevice and everything else, it just melts away a lot of the calcium. Again, make sure you clean off those chrome ones first, the chrome or metal parts, because you don't want the acid to etch into it like how I did before. That's why you see a little bit of brown staining there um, on, the, on the chrome part. So make sure you shoot all the way around underneath because the possibility of lime away still being there is there. It is a gel. So I'm going to spray from top to bottom, crevices, rinse down, rinse down. It's just really, really, um, it feels really cool. It's kind of zen to actually wash the, the, the bathroom install. Actually, I kind of enjoy it. To be honest, it feels really good to see all that dirt go away and to see it nice and clean afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the third panel and spray it down. But yeah, it's just nice to see it. On my next video, I'll probably po post how I clean the shower curtain because mildew and bacteria grows on the shower curtain as well. And I usually basically um, just soak the whole darn thing. In fact, you can't see the shower curtain right now because I take it away and, um, and clean that separately. So I share this uh, bathroom with another roommate. So it's one of those things where I like to be clean, but at the same time, I'm kind of... Um, kind of hate it when you know it's two weeks before i have to clean this thing but at the same time it's very very simple and very fast those people don't like cleaning their you know, restrooms and stuff so i figured i'd make a quickie video on how to do it and how to do it effectively really quick so all that dirt going into the drain yeah pretty awesome i've seen people use ajax and other stuff but i don't want to use that because it is plastic in terms of the shower uh, stall i mean if it was something else sure but i I think Ajax wouldn't really hurt it that much, and it has an abrasiveness to the, I think the calcium, um, um, like powder that it has in it. I'm not sure what it's made of, but it works pretty well too. But I prefer using Lime Away because it'll melt the calcium and get rid of the calcium stuff. If it was a deep stain, I'll probably try using the Ajax, but I've never, for the past 10 years, I never really had to. I just used the Lime Away stuff to melt the calcium rinse everything off and that's it. I'm now rinsing off all the, the tools I use, the, the automotive brush as well as the toilet bowl, industrial toilet bowl brush, and just rinsing everything down the drain. And you can see most of it's clean. There's still some 
areas I need to pick up on, like uh, to use some bleach and bleach out the mildew. But at the same time, you know, that's very fast. I'm just going to spray it on and rinse it off a little later and it's all gone. It's just the, build, the bleach just kills it. So that's how you do it. I mean, it's really that simple. I just don't know why my, you know, I actually made this video, I think, you know, so my roommate could see this and it's like a show, show them how to do this correctly or at least how I do it correctly for the past several years. Um, but rinse, 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 and you're just rinsing off the rest of the uh, tools and everywhere else. I basically, as you can see, I took off the shower curtain. Most of the stuff is gone. There's still some fine tuning to be done, uh, some touch up work, but yeah, this is pretty cool. This is how I clean my shower stall when it's my turn to clean it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and also wash my hands because I have some, probably some of the um, cleaner solution on my hands too. So I'm gonna make sure I wash this. Again, this is all, make sure you practice really good safety and hygiene because this is, you know, it is caustic stuff, that's slightly caustic. You know? And it does a really fast job really quick. So you have to, it's under 10 minutes, you should get all this stuff done. So after that, make sure um, that's it. Make sure you're, you're also well ventilated. Make sure the, um, the restroom ventilation's on and everything else like that. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more DIYs and stuff. Otherwise, it's as simple as getting a heavy duty toilet brush and a squeegee with a foam side on it. So you could just put the, so put the coating on it with some lime away and it just eats it all away. Yeah, I know this took about, what, 10 minutes of video, but oh well, you know, that's just really cool. Like, subscribe, Check out the links below if you if you want to see these products on there in the description. I will get to the other parts by just spraying bleach under there and just killing that stuff, the mildew. And that's it. That's it, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, next time I get, have a shower stall, I want it to be no detail like that. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Again, thanks for the 9,000 subscribers who tune in. And look out for more playlists and different DIYs on my channel, as well as reviews as well. Um, also fix it as well as reviews of other things like accent lights I get at Costco or any other Costco stuff because I barely shop at Costco a lot and also how to replace batteries on typical stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, hit the bell button. That's sort of fun stuff. See you next time. Bye-bye.